Hey guys, youth coming to you from Stonecutters Festival 2016, presented by 5-4 Entertainment. After a huge first year, the festival is now expanded to two days here at Queen's Theatre. Go! When I saw Queen's Theatre written on the itinerary, I was like, oh, I guess it's going to be like a big yeah. theatre with seats and yeah. curtains and stuff. And then I walk in and it's like a... A warehouse. Yeah, it's like a punk warehouse. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. People that are, um, you know, just turned 18 and they're going to go and support a local festival or right. see their live band. Yeah, that just makes me feel really hopeful, I guess. It's an amazing festival put together by the good people of Adelaide. Uh, yep. And uh, it's such a hilarious trip to be a part of it. So obviously I wanted to ask you guys a few Stonecutters related questions. The first one is about the Illuminati symbol. Do you guys have any favourite conspiracy theories? I love the idea of secret societies. There's a lot of conspiracies out there, isn't there? If the earth is flat. Is that what you think? Research it. I feel like I connect with Bigfoot. I feel like I am somewhat related. I kind of feel like if it was real, I wouldn't find out about it on Finding Bigfoot Season 2, Episode 7. <laughs> Elvis is alive, man. Because I'm like fucking firmly be big believer that Tupac is still alive. He's probably the business manager at the new RAR. Jet fuel can't melt steel beans. It can. Bullets can kill gorillas though, so... <laughs> Okay, they put gas in the airplane before you take off, it makes everyone snoozy. Like there's a lot of lizard people in high-end government places. It's like, it's like Trump, all the like major banks. Life's too short to get caught up on all that shit. So my brother and I are really big Seinfeld fans. Yeah. And this guy like wrote this Seinfeld script. It's like a post 9-11 sign. You've, you've seen it. It's like a yeah. post 9-11 Seinfeld script. Yeah. And it's amazing. And sometimes through like comedy and humour, it's like the only way that you can really discuss it yeah. or get it across in a way that people listen. If you were a Simpsons character, who would you be and why? I've never reflected. Like, who am I in The Simpsons? I feel like I'd be Hans Moll, man. I reckon he's like Otto. Uh, my name is Otto, and I'd love to get Blato. Barney would be sick. He can sing pretty good. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the boy! <laughs> no, but, like, I can imagine, like, being in a moo, moo like, with the fat fingers, you know, like... Yeah, that's goals. That is goals. Staying at home. I like to think that I have the professionalism of the blue-haired lawyer. What about you, Ray? Probably be like Smithers or something. Smithers? Smithers. Why would you be Smithers? I wish he had a real name though. It's just yeah. the blue haired lawyer. Somewhere between Poochie and Otto. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Lisa. Only because I play the saxophone. Who would you want to be? You can be celebrity uh, celebrity guests on The Simpsons as well. Or can you just? Probably Elvis Costello trying to convince Homer to play bass. I'd be Skinner, but like badass Skinner when he gets fired. I think I'm kind of a cross between Barney and Bart. His can control is excellent. Yeah. I, I really, I just want to get a Johnny Tightlips tattoo on my butt. No shit. Left cheek. I'd, lo I'd love to be the alien guy from the, ta oh, the table. Oh, yes. He's like, yes. we do. I, I think if I was going to be a song from The Simpsons, it would be the Homer, Homer, Homer singing the song about when he first drank beer. We used to tour with a CD and it was like the 20 best Simpsons songs. Like when I was 17, <laughs> I drank some very good beer. Who holds back the electric car? <laughs> Who makes Steve Newton burn a star? <laughs> Who needs the quickie mark? Classic. It's a good one. I do. Be a straight A student and pass with flying colors. Shop for a second, this is gonna be good. Like last time when you didn't put any of the good stuff in the video. Uh, <laughs> clearly Bart Simpson, right? And clearly Millhouse, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Do you know what a quokka is? What the fuck's a quokka? Oh my god, they're like these little like mustupioli mammaly things. They're basically like overgrown rodents, but they're always smiling. Yeah. If you go, if you hashtag search quokka selfie on Instagram, it's like a really nice way to go to sleep. <laughs> it's great. Uh, yeah, that's. It just gives you a little bit of hope in the world. It's like a bit of like an otter looking. Yeah, a little weird. Look at that. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that one. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, so cool. It's awesome.